Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Happy Monday. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had an incredible weekend. Today we're going to be talking about maintaining a standard that allows you to show up at the level that you want to show up. And we're going to look at a little bit why we slip from that standard every now and then. Okay, so let's get into it. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through and you are watching, please let me know that you're watching, even if it's just part of it, by hitting the love heart button. And what I want you to do this morning is comment down below. Um, does your standards slip when it gets tough? Don't lie. Be honest with yourself. So when it gets tough, when you face adversity, do your standards default to the old way that you used to be? Or are they just generally end up slipping to the bottom of the pit um, and we end up becoming frustrated? I, I want you to answer that question in the, in the comments. And then obviously please share with someone that might need this or someone that you might know. Oh, so we have um, in two days, three days it closes, um, a 31 day July challenge. For those people that are looking to get themselves out of a uh, bit of a rut, give themselves a bit of a kickstart. All right, so we are going to be focusing on doing one workout a day. We're going to be focusing on no booze for 31 days. We're going to be doing something that benefits us, that makes us smile, something for us, for ourselves, so we're actually paying attention to ourselves. And uh, we are also going to be doing something that um, kind of like recognises what we're good at, all right? Because I don't think that we do that enough. And along that way, if you are not in, you'll be within our Brotherhood Elite, so you get all the benefits of being part of our group of being part of our um, uh, community, of the Brotherhood Elite, all the accountability, all the focus groups, everything that goes on in there, okay? Details are on the bio. You can go and check it out when you're ready. All right, so, listen, we, like, are, if you're here watching this, I have no doubts in my mind that you are trying to improve the way that you run your life. Um, you can call it what you want. You can call it resurrection. You can call it a kickstart. You can call it um, personal development. You can call it whatever you want, but you're trying to work on yourself, right? You're trying to be the leader. You're trying to be the man that you want to be. To get to that standard, we have to have a certain set of standards. Now, when I, when I observe my transition from being a young civilian lad to going into the military, one of the biggest things that I observed was the raising standards that I had for myself. Okay, so looking at myself, I would look at the standards that I had to show up at, the, the standard of my fitness, the standard of my mental resilience, the standards of my relationship building, the standard of my um, skill set. It just went through the roof, right? It went from, from a lad who was working in McDonald's to a man who was becoming a train killer, right? So the the level of um, standards had to go through the roof. And there was no room for substandard. If you drop the standard, you weren't getting through training. There was no two ways about it. And those standards were really high. And I thought they were about the highest that they could ever be. But then I joined the physical training branch where I become a PTI in the Royal Marines. That level of excellence, we strive for a level of excellence in terms of standards at the highest level of the, in the world. Like, there is not an inch, there's not a millimetre for error. And that was very tough to go through, by the way, when I went through it in terms of expectations, in terms of pressure. The standards were very, 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 very high. And they had to be to train the best force in the world. So like when I look at the lads that I'm trying to train, when I look at the lads I'm trying to improve, I'm trying to impose a set of standards, a level of standard that we show up at, right? That basic level that we show up at should be the minimum requirement for you to show up, i.e. setting your morning routines i.e. not pressing snooze, i.e. getting your workouts in, i.e. prioritising yourself, i.e. having mental resilience, i.e. connecting with your family 
so that you are the priority, okay? So guys, if you're just joining us, what I've asked lads to do in the comments is write down, do your standards drop when you face adversity? Okay, we're talking about maintaining standards. So how, do we ma how did we maintain standards in the military? Well, we did it through accountability, which, which was a huge one. Um, there was always hierarchical, uh, hierarchy staff or, or rank, we call it then, um, watching down on you and you, if you put a step wrong, man, they jump on you. They're like, Boardman, sort it out. That's not good enough. All right. And, and that accountability raises the standard every single time. So that's important. Your peers around you, you are only as good. Your standards are only as high as the people that are around you, which is why so many people end up dropping their standards when they come out of a community of some people that have high standards. So you look at our brotherhood elite, you look at our elite movement, you look at my elite squad, you look at these are these are communities that are coaching communities that I run. Now in there, they should be inspiring each other. They should be like pushing each other. The standard in there is set to be very high, okay? And what ends up happening when you disconnect with that, you then start surrounding yourself with a lower standard automatically. Like when I left the Royal Marines, I wasn't around uh, people who were holding me accountable at that level, so my standards slipped. You know, there was no one to be able to pick me up. There was no one that I trusted to talk to. And you go up and it comes straight back down. So I do standard slip. A lack of accountability for one. So when there's no accountability, when there's no one saying, why aren't you doing what you said you were going to do? Why aren't you doing your workouts? Why aren't you getting up? Why aren't you checking in? Okay, it ends up becoming then that scenario of, oh, I'm just not showing up anymore, I've just quit. And then all of a sudden, because you've dropped those standards, you're going straight back to the way that you used to be. You're going straight back to what I would call default mode. And default mode is that mode where you turn into the zombie again. It's that standard set that you set yourself and you're not showing up again. You're not showing up for your family. You're going around in that cycle. You're feeling sorry for yourself. And you become a drama queen. And it becomes very, very difficult to then maintain any high standards to build momentum. Like we need good standards to build momentum. And an accountability stops you falling off that cliff edge. Okay? The peers or the people that you hang around with they are absolutely key to you showing up in the standard you set yourself. Absolutely key. We have different tiers of coaching groups, right? So we have the elite movement, this is where we invite people in for 90 days. Then we have the brotherhood elite. Then we have the guys that want more. Okay, they want more and more and more. Uh, so we then put them into a higher tier so they get more accountability from me, more focus, more direction, more bespoke a focus is, hey, what are you doing here? Why are you doing that? Like, So that gives them even higher standards. So our elite squad is that next level up. And then our elite man, but well, that's my small po gro coaching group of no more than six to eight men. And they get the highest level of accountability, right? So they get the highest standards. And it's natural. And you can see that in performances. It naturally happens, right? When you join from the Marines, the special forces, man, your standard has to go up another level. And there's always another level. You never want to be in a room where you, where you are the most knowledgeable, where you are at the top. You should always be looking up at who's next. Who am I going after? And that's what I do in business. I always look, who's the next person I need to overtake? Who's the next person I'm trying to imitate or trying to mirror in terms of success? Because it keeps me on my toes. If I keep thinking, right, yeah, we're doing really well. Look how far we've come or will become complacent and those standards will drop. Okay? And it's the same with parenting. I could constantly reflecting on my own parenting skills, looking at where I can improve myself, looking at what the standard could be or is so that we get to the place where I feel like I'm being a good parent. So I want you to go away today and think, I want you to do this, this is a task or this is an, ex, uh, an exercise. And I want you to write down, and I want you to put it in the comments if, if you dare. Let's see who the action takers are. I've got my tripod, my shoulder is burning out. Um, I want you to write down the top three reasons that your standards drop. 
and I want you to then write down what happens. What are the top three that things that happen? What are the top three things that happen when you drop your standards? Do you start drinking more? Do you put on weight? Do your relationships struggle? I want you to write down what they are, okay? So put those, th those things in the comments, all right? Top three reasons why your standards drop and the top three things that happen. This is a great little self-awareness tool exercise for you to start recognizing those standards. And actually, the more that we do this, the more you start to recognize when those standards are slipping so that you can do something about it. All right, guys, um, don't forget 31 day challenge. It's open for the next two, three days, three days. We've got eight places left. There is only eight places left. Um, hope to see you on the other side. Have a cracker.